On the floor right now, we have the Blackstone Millville Regional High School Winter Percussion Group. <laughs> Their show this year is titled On a Journey or subtitled Trains. And they will be performing for you tonight. They just they had a late night yesterday. They had their first ever WGI Regional in Trumbull, Connecticut. And they got back at 1.30. So our train hopefully won't lose steam. <laughs> Blackstone Novo, is the, the group ready? You may take the floor in exhibition performance.
Next, we have the High School Women Choir under the direction of Mr. Mickey Ireland. Uh, thank you all for being here, uh, not just to hear us play, but to, uh, more importantly, for the craft fair to support uh, the Blackstone Millville Music Association. We are the High School Woodman Choir. Uh, we rehearse one to two times per week, starting at the beginning of December, once the uh, craziness and the intensity of marching band season is over. Um, we got three selections for you from three very distinct periods of music. Our first tune is called Variations on a Theme by Haydn, and it was written by Brahms. And the thing is, is Brahms is kind of doing a, almost a throwback Thursday, if you so Haydn was a classical composer writing in the late 1700s, and he wrote this beautiful melody called the St. Anthony Chorale. And the St. Anthony Chorale is really unique in that the phrases are five measures long. So about 75 years later, Brahms, a romantic composer in the 1800s, decided to write a theme and variations on Haydn's St. Anthony Chorale. It's like an 18 minute piece. We're gonna play a cut down version that includes the theme and three variations. So if you wanna hold your applause to the last variation, that would be great. Give you a hint, it ends loud. So this is <laughs> Johannes Brahms, theme of variations on a theme by
period, the Romantic period. Now we're going to back up the bus to the early 1700s, the music of uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, great Baroque composer. And he wrote a lot, I mean hundreds, of fugues. And this one was originally written for massive pipe organ. You know, so picture like a 50 foot high steel pipes in an old Gothic church. Uh, it's, written, it's called the Little Fugue in G minor. We're actually going to play it in F minor. Uh, so instead of one massive pipe organ with one person doing all the work, we split the voices, we split the workload up to eight different people. So listen to how the, all the different melodies interweave and go against each other, and there's one particular theme that keeps coming back and binds this whole thing together. So we hope you enjoy Bach, Little Fugue, and G minor. F minor. <coughs> Thank you. 
And last but not least, we'll light it up uh, going south of the border, down to Argentina, to the world of the tango. This is a piece written by Astor Piazzolla. He was a classically trained composer and musician who had tango in his blood. He tried to be a serious, artsy composer like Stravinsky or Copeland or Schoenberg, and he studied with these fancy teachers, but it never really worked out, and the teachers found out that what he was really good at was writing tango music, but a special type of tango music that maybe wasn't easy to dance to, but had a great place in the concert hall. This is a short tango uh, featuring Andrew Jalbert on the tenor sax entitled Contra Bajeando. We uh, thank you for your attention, and after us, there'll be a short stage change and then the Winter Garden will perform. Thank you very much. sick, it affects a whole bunch. They're usually a little bit bigger than this, so just so you know, we're missing a few today. Is the guard ready? Good to know. 
Blackstone Noble, Woody Garden, you may take the floor in exhibition performance. Some of these kids, the end of May, they work hard, they practice hours a week, they're wonderful teams, they go out and compete every weekend, they can come out supporting. How about another round of applause for the high school winning guard? Please enjoy the rest of the crowd there. 